Yeah. Uh, Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday the 28th of October 2023. And I'll tell you, one, of course, it's not been done on a Saturday because if everything goes to plan, tomorrow I will be in Porter's Head. In various places in Porter's Head, uh, Spoons, uh, Premier Inn, uh, a local coffee shop and brewery and the sirens calling. And probably rain, etc. And also, I'm cheating. I'm not using any additional lighting at the moment. In fact, I've got portrait mode on, uh, that's part of Sonoma, and I've also got studio light, which isn't a light at all, it's just done in software. Because I felt that I was a little bit overly bright, maybe. However, um, when I do the wrap for day one of MB13, which is Porter's Head, I will be taking this which is rather wonderful anyway um if you haven't seen this before where have you been um probably enjoying yourself and not watching this to be honest um scratch his nose this is my look back on the week that was and there were two real things okay so let's start with the word or phrase of the week which is probably going to take up most of my week and that was apple and various apple -y things so france being france decided to ban the iphone 12 yeah okay um because of the radiation from the transmitter in it um, so Apple came up with a fix, which was going to be released in the next release. And someone, I think it was the French, actually said, uh, you got to do it by the 24th, which was Tuesday. So there should have been an update by Tuesday. And I thought possibly Monday, half past six on Monday, it wasn't there. Half past six on Tuesday, gonna sneeze, it also wasn't there. But in 9 to 5 Mac, there was an emergency release of Test Flight, which is the software that sits on uh, various bits of Apple stuff, um, so you can test your software with users. And then it appeared on Wednesday. So there were updates on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday morning, I did the iPads. Thursday night, I did the Apple TV. Um, oh, yeah, Thursday, very early morning, I did this Mac yeah and um uh, yesterday also um my ipod touch and my other ipod touch in fact they released 17 ios 17 patches ios 16 patches and ios 15 patches so that goes all the way back to the iphone 6s so if you've got an old device and you don't think you're gonna get updates um settings a general software updates have a little look there might be one waiting for you. And also on Wednesday, price increases. Apple TV Plus, I think that's up to £8 or £9 now. Uh, Apple Music's gone up and Apple News Plus. Well, I got a freebie of Apple News Plus and Apple Music, but they're both going to go because price, price, price. Definitely. And Monday... One minute to midnight on Monday, there is Scary Fast, which will be a recording of new stuff from Apple. Now, here's my plan. Um, go to bed early, which I normally do anyway. Get up at quarter to 12, get everything ready, and probably stream it from Twit, so they can babble on about nothing inconsequential. But, yeah... <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, 5 o'clock Pacific time, whereas it's usually 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time. I have no idea, although the stock markets are closed when they kick it off. But there you go. Okay, app of the week. And this comes back to Apple as well. It's detail. This is the software that I am using to record this, except this is the iOS version so what happened was i had a problem with it uh back in august yeah i think it was august and um long story short they refunded me two months on my yearly subscription turns out apple instead of just 
plonking those on the end of my yearly subscription, cancelled my yearly subscription, refunded my yearly subscription, put those two months in. So when those two months ran out, which they have now, I ended up paying for it. Great. Anyway, the software, which was Detail Duo, is now Detail for iOS. And if you link two iPhones together and point them at two different people, they will record those two different people along with the audio, and they will switch automatically dependent on who's talking, which is kind of slightly wonderful. However, I'm just going to use them because I can do two cameras at once, the front and the back. Uh, and they will appear in the prelude for MB13 Porter's Head for tomorrow. Yeah, watch out for that. It'll be mostly dark because, well, um, that's the thing of the week, autumn. The thing of the week, yeah, it's... Okay, so on Sunday, well, Saturday into Sunday, I had a 4.5 TOG. Uh, duvet on my bed and it was a little bit chilly with the window open so I thought yeah it's not that cold I know I'll change it to a 13.5 although this week it has been quite chilly overnight no frosts but chilly 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 um, so I'm really glad that I had the extra duvet on and the trees are turning colour and there are now lots of leaves on the floor which are great for composting because leaf mulch wonderful anyway um oh yeah song of the week i don't know why but it's a classic all along the watchtower by Jimi hendrix it's a bob dylan song but Jimi hendrix takes it to the next level and if you haven't heard it before spotify or apple music well if you've already got Apple Music, the price hasn't gone up yet. If you're new to it, the price has already gone up. Um, but it is a classic. Really, really good. And the song anyway, and the lyrics. There you go. Anyway, so the week. Um, the John Wallace Linton on Saturday, where one of the bar maids, bar managers, shift supervisors, I know are from the Queen's Hotel, described me as the ale man. It was the penultimate day of the Weatherspoons Autumn Real Ale Festival. So I was trying to get in as many as I could. And it was nice to be called the Ale Man. Um, Sunday was the last day, but however, it did go on. And I think Thursday was the last beer that went on in the tumble from the stock. And they were all really rather good. Oh, although all of them were quite lively. They were all settled, but they were lively, and you had to wait for them to settle down, because real ale and things like that. So there you go. Um, also Sunday, um, Mr. Fothergill's had a seed sale. Uh, the old one pound packets. Um, always a good idea. Get them before Christmas when the price goes up. Get them now while they're still cheap um they should be sure by now uh, i think the dispatch has been rather tardy but they use shopify and the shopify pop up popped up yesterday with a dispatch note so there you go i woke up on saturday morning couldn't find my earbuds couldn't find them anywhere uh, luckily i used cheapo earbuds wired um so i had a spare set so put those in and um, straight on to e not eBay, Amazon and ordered a new set because these things happen. I have no idea where they are. I know they're at home because I wore them and listened to them at home after the pub, but uh, there you go. Whatever. Anyway, um, what else? Mm, not really a lot else to be perfectly honest. Oh yeah, um, more tech. Um, I noticed from about Sunday that when my um, PC was idling, because I have little things in the system tray that show me the temperature and the idling percentage, instead of idling about 0 to 1%, I was idling between 10 and 12%, which meant the fan uh, occasionally came on and I was using more electricity and times are hard. Um, so I'd much rather much rather it wasn't doing that. I suspected Microsoft Edge. 
um, but it didn't really look like it. I, I went into task manager and it seemed to be just sitting there, whatever. However, this morning, early on, turned the machine on, was sitting there and a couple of minutes later said, you need to reboot your PC. It's never done that before because I own, always tend to do it manually. Rebooted it, it settled down 0% idling. So, if you are getting the fan coming on a lot, or you've got an activity monitor that says, well, you're doing 10% and the machine's doing nothing, uh, you might want to run Windows Update. So, as I said, um, tomorrow MB13, Mini Beano 13, for the 28th of October 2023, off to Portus Head leaving early because there are 20 mile an hour protests on the m4 tomorrow uh, i managed to find the price was slightly lower than it normally is not low but lower um so as i said it's spoons there's a mini brewery stroke coffee house there's the sirens calling and the weather looks changeable so that was my week a week of mostly apple tech and so will next week. Anyway, um, comments about whether I am lit well enough or not. Um, whatever you see this on, if you ping me back, um, have a pleasant week. And uh, if you haven't changed your duvet to a thicker duvet, we'll consider doing it now. Anyway, bye-bye. Um,